Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a tour of my production van. It is a 2020 Nissan NV200, and I got it uh, last year used, and it's been great so far. But I've seen lots of people on YouTube looking at production vans. And I just kind of wanted to show you what I have and what I've been using and what works good for me. But, uh, yeah. So, this is kind of my setup so far. I have just a basic lighting and grip package in here um, that I kind of just keep on the truck, just like in this configuration. Um, so starting over here, this is kind of where I put all my stands. I have six C stands with arms, uh, two have removable bases if I need to travel with those like airline or whatnot. And then four are, uh, black and two are chrome, but they just kind of slide in there. And then I usually ratchet them down so they don't move around too much. And then underneath that, I have some combo stands. So underneath those, I have some combo stands. I have two short combo stands in there. And then I have one light stand. Um, everything is pretty much Matthews, except a couple of other um, specialty stands. I think these are like... Avenger stands or something like that, uh, or Kubo. Um, I have some black white stands under there. And then these are high roller stands um, with wheels. I keep the wheels on them, but they just kind of slide in there. And you'll see it better on the other side as well. And this is where I keep my floppies. I have um, two sets, uh, the 48 by 48 and then the 40 by 40. Um, I have silk, a black floppy, an ultra bounce floppy, and then a black flag. And I have two sets. So the 40 set and the 48 set. And then on this side, I keep some lighting. I have a tube light here. Everything's aperture or amaran. And then I have a 600D set up here, and then another 600D back there. So two 600Ds, and then I have the lighting grids here, the light domes or whatever you call them. And that just kind of fits in there. And then moving on to this side, I have my innovative cart a 36 inch uh, Voyager. Then on the cart, I keep some light mats. Uh, these are the Aperture F22Cs, two of those. And then I have a Pelican case that houses uh, five um, P60s, the Amaran P60 panels, the little one by ones that are RGB. Keep them in that case there. And then sometimes I'll have some accessories on top of here if they're small enough, lower profile to fit underneath the van here. And then this is my 6x6 six six IntelliTech fast frame grid. Keep that up there as well as some rolls of gels. I have some CTB and CTO back there. That's pretty much all I keep as far as gels. And then moving on to the side. On the side here, you can see the rest of the C stands with the combo heads. Um, those kind of just stick through here. So this shelf here is kind of useless. And then underneath here, I have a crate of stingers and some other little electrical goodies kind of fit in that crate. And then this is my grip crate where I keep just a bunch of random grip stuff, knuckles, cardellini clamps, um, ears, 
ratchet straps, duck bills, and then some gloves as well in here and safety chains. Just kind of sits in there. Everything is very intentional and kind of packed in very tight. I have some uh, rock and roller wheels that I use for another cart that I keep on top of the roof here, just in case I need more than my innovative cart. Uh, flashlight, some tape here, and then I have um, a half apple box. And then I think there's a, a full apple and then a family of apple um, down there. And then this is my eight by eight frame. It's a butterfly frame. I mostly use four by four and eight by eights. Um, that's kind of what I have on the truck. If I need something bigger, I can usually rent it. So going on to the other side. So you can see the other side here. These were the apple boxes, the family, and then just the full. And I keep two more uh, combo stands here. And then uh, this is the modifier set for the 600 Ds. They have the, um, the narrow, the medium, the wide. This came off of like a 1200 D set, um, but it works just fine with the 600 D. I actually feel like it works really well. So I might end up getting another one of those guys. And then I usually keep some sticks here. Uh, this, I have the head removed for a Dana Dolly, but um, I all usually have two sticks here, one here, and one here. And then on this side, these are some bicolor. Um, they're like equivalent to like a 150 tungsten spotlight. Um, I have three of those in here, um, just in case, you know, you need to pop a light somewhere. And then underneath I have, um, this is a uh, ramp for the innovative so I can get it in and out. And then these are shelves for my other cart that is actually a scaffolding, but you can pretty much put these shelves on this cart here, as well as the wheels, and you can move it around and I can haul a bunch of stuff on it. And then coming to the front seat, I have um, sandbags in the front seat. I usually travel solo. So to balance out the weight, I put all my dirt here. I have eight 25 pounds and then four, I, I don't know what's how much these weigh. I never actually measured them, but I just filled them up with dirt. Um, these are, I usually use these for like outdoors so I don't mess up my other sandbags. Um, but yeah, so I have 12 sandbags here. Then in the middle, fire extinguisher, tire pump for the innovative, and then just a bunch of random tools. Um, and then I keep grip clips here, tennis balls here, and then um, let's see what else I got here. Some bungee cords. Um, this is for the innovative wheels. And then in this one, I have some other wheels for the other combo stands. I have a set of, I believe nine in here. So I can put wheels on these two and then some of the smaller combo stands if needed, just in case someone wants to wheel around lights. Um, so that's this side on the other side there. It's a little windy here right now. On this side here is where I keep all my soft goods. So an eight by eight artificial silk. I have a bunch of them, some unbleached muslins, some uh, black solids ultra bounce. I just keep all my eight by eights here um, behind the driver's chair. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I like to keep a small profile 
fully rigged out. So usually if I have a bigger shoot, I'll rent a box truck or whatnot. But um, this is pretty nice. I, I've been loving the setup. Obviously I'm still trying to dial things in, see what works best. I've only had it for about six months, but um, yeah, it's, it's great. And I live in the Little Rock area. So if you ever need to rent something like this, you can hit me up. I have a shoot uh, Sunday that I'm traveling to Houston. So I'll probably just drive there with this stuff and um, make it happen. Oh, and on top there, I keep an extension ladder. I think this goes from like maybe five feet to 12 feet, something like that. I can't remember, but um, yeah, I keep that there. And then I have my rolling cart there. And obviously if I need to have more space, I'll break down the innovative cart and then I could store a bunch of camera gear here if I need more than this section here for camera gear or more lighting or whatnot. I just keep the cart built for convenience sake to roll in and out so I don't have to build it every time. Even though it's pretty simple to build, um, it's just one of those things that you have to show up a little bit earlier to a shoot to get it built um, so that way you're ready to roll uh, call time. But I just like having it built.